Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. First of all, a very happy new year 2023 to all of you. This is going to be my first video of this new year. Let's all forget the past and focus to make our future better. I hope that everyone has a wonderful start of the year. May all your goals be completed and whatever new year resolutions you've made for this year, you get enough power to complete that. So in this video, as you can see in this picture, we're going to be talking about the brand new farm pass season 26 or the first farm pass of 2023 which is the lunar year special that has just started in the game because there's a lot to talk about this farm pass so let's get right into the game and check what's happening let's go okay so i'm finally in the game and the first thing that i see is is that I have a couple of requests that I'm going to accept and my friend's book is still open you guys can send me a request my tag is on the screen and I still have almost 34 spaces that I can add all right, I think I'm just going to get started with my game. Let's uh, collect some tomato sauce from Tom. He's going to come back in 53 minutes. We're going to ignore that. Let's just harvest my crops and check what is happening. All right, I just got a land deed and a wood panel. This is awesome. So going to have a look at the visitors. Okay, the new year has come and they still haven't changed. Still asking for all those things that I'm never going to sell them. Ridiculous. Let's see what I can plan over here. I'm going to go with something that doesn't take a lot of time. So it's currently eight for me. And if I planned, okay, let me decide because I think even planning the crops in Haiti is very strategic and you have to plan that according to your time. Um, I'm just gonna go with some grapes over here then and probably some passion fruit. Am I doing something wrong? I don't know, I still haven't checked the farm pass. I'll just get into that after some seconds. We're going to do our honeycombs and peanuts over here. Can I do my boat? Oh, I can't believe no one really filled my crate. I think I'm going to save that for later. Let's quickly run my dairy. Need to make more cream and butter. Now, I think I'm just going to come to the main topic of this video, the Farm Pass Season 26. Now, of course, this is the Happy New Year 2023. But is it really the Happy New Year for Haiti? Or it's more like unhappy new year because if you still haven't realized this farm pass is very different from all the other farm passes that we usually get in the game some people have been calling it the worst farm pass ever i don't think i'm gonna say that i still think it's just okay but yeah it's certainly not the best farm pass and definitely not a good start for 2023 i was expecting more i was hoping for something better i mean this is literally the first farm pass of this new year so they could have brought something special something better you know like a special farm pass that would be memorable that people would remember for ages um i don't know why they chose to do this well you might be getting confused don't worry i'm gonna dig into more detail now before i start talking about anything one thing that i want to make clear is anything i mention and tell in this video is strictly based on my own opinions it's just my point of view and it is just my opinion i'm not trying to offend anyone and i have nothing personal against the Haiti team i'm just gonna start checking the farm pass road and see what we're getting so the upper road is of course the paid one you have to purchase it as usual and the first decoration that i see is the star tiles okay very cool to check vouchers from the top road uh, more perks and i think the free perk this time is your truck help all right and this is the hat that you're going to be getting it's called as the police cap which is very interesting i love the dark blue color and then we have custom decorations more xp okay come on come on let's see what else do we have um a puzzle piece some decorations and wait wh where's the chick voucher huh is, is this a mistake there's no chick voucher yeah, you are right. There is no cheek voucher on the free road in this farm pass. And this is one of the things that I'm going to be talking about. Now, why people play the farm pass? I think there are three main reasons people play the farm pass. The first reason is getting a lot of XP. It gives them a huge boost. You know, it helps them to level up faster in the game. And I'm going to be honest, one of the main reasons I was playing farm pass was just because of the XP. I did not care about other things that much. I mean, though I like them, I like getting rewards, but XP was always my number one. And they reduced the XP back in November 2021, which infuriated a lot of players. I hated that addition. I did not like it. The reason they did this was because lower level players were leveling up fast. I mean, as high level players, why do we have to deal with this? Just because some of the lower level players are not very strategic and they're leveling up fast. 
if it's actually their problem, then the solution should only concern them. Why does it bother us? The same I always say about the 80s limit, because I don't like that limit at all. Before, I used to get about 2 million XP, and now it's roughly 1.4 or maximum 1.5 million XP sometimes. I was like, fine, that's okay, that's not a bad deal. It's like, it's fine. The second thing that people play the farm pass is mainly because of the decorations. I have a lot of friends who love decorations, and you know, they've been playing this game for a lot of time. And this farm pass, specifically, guys, is worse in terms of the decorations. Look at whatever you're getting. So, the first decoration that you're getting are um, the tiles 10 if you pay the farm pass, 5 if you're free to play player. Now, these tiles are coming back in the game for the third time. It's not even a new decoration, not even a new path, and not even something that we had last year. This was originally in 2021's new year, and this is coming back in the game for the third time. And I mean, why is this happening? Why are some of the decorations being so repetitive? Why they're not bringing something the players missed last year, or you know, something brand new, rather than putting back the decorations that were there for like the third time? And especially people who were longtime players or were playing this game for such a long time, they don't want to get those decorations back. What's the purpose? I don't understand it. So that's the first thing. That's my first little complaint about the tiles. Okay, they might be good and it's always good to have more of them, but think about it, guys. Wouldn't it be more interesting and better if you get something new, like a brand new decoration, brand new path as compared to the star tiles? Again, I'm talking this from a long time player's POV. Your opinions are gonna be different if this is your first time in the game or, you know, this is your first time getting this decoration. This might be good for you, but again, there are people that have been playing this game for years. And I think Hades should keep it fair to bring the stuff that makes everyone happy and not just one certain group of people. So that's something I don't really like a lot, but I mean, that's still okay, whatever. Now, next, moving forward, we have these decorations, guys. Look at this dog statue. Okay, it is cute. It is perfect. I love the golden statues, but this is also coming back in the game, not the second time, definitely not the first time, but for the third time. I mean, why are they doing this? Who is the person that manages all these decorations on the farm pass? Who is deciding to put the decorations in the game? I want to know that person. I mean, I don't know. Why would they bring the same decoration back for the third time? So this dog statue was originally in 2019's Chinese year. Then it came back last year uh, with no diamond deco packs. And now it's again in the farm pass. This made me so angry because it's such a big decoration. And I don't want the same decorations again and again. I don't mind getting them. But it definitely doesn't give a good impression to me in the game. Imagine if this was a rooster statue or if this was one of the diamond packs from the last year. Or even better, if this was a brand new decoration that we've never had before. So the decorations are just being repetitive again and again. I'm especially very disappointed about the dog statue. It's such a good decoration and I don't want the same decoration again and again. It could have been that pig statue for me or it could have been the rooster statue. Okay, I know you might be thinking, oh, I didn't get the pig statue. I'm okay. Again, this is not going to apply to everyone, but for the people who have this decoration, it's back for the third time. So this doesn't make me very happy. Now, if you look at the bottom decoration, which is the free one, this, I think, is also back for the third time. I don't know. I think they used the same coding as they did last year or something. They probably took the code from the No Diamond Deco Pack and put it in this year's Farm Pass. I don't know. It just seems like they did something like this. The only exclusive decoration that you're getting is that Shake Swing, which I thought a lot of people were hating. It was very controversial. I don't know why, but I thought it had something to do with someone's religion. We're not going to go into more detail of that. But this Farm Pass decorations are not my favorite. I love getting decorations. I love collecting them. And I'm very excited for the Farm Pass every month to see what decorations they bring. I think 90% of the people are always looking forward to getting those decorations. And when they're going to do stuff like this, being repetitive, bringing back the same old decorations again and again, I'm sure it's not going to make a lot of people in the community very happy. I've already seen a lot of feedback and a lot of comments from people that are getting disappointed. And they're just not liking it. So I don't know the reason why Haiti is doing this. What's the purpose of bringing the decorations back? For the third time, for the second time, it might be fine. But I don't know why for the third time. I don't want this dog statue or this flower was again for the fourth time. That's not going to be cool. And lastly, there is no chick voucher on the free road. Now, hold on. I know why they did this. Because we were having the gift catalog here and we had a lot of chick vouchers. Okay, that was cool. Now, did we ask Haiti to bring the gift wrapping station? No. Did we ask them to give us more good prizes? Yes, we did. And they did that through the gift wrapping station. That, that was great. I loved it. But did we ask them to remove the chick voucher from the farm pass just because they gave us in the first place? And no one asked for that. And I mean, who does that? 
Why is it even happening? Does Haiti not want players to progress quickly? Does Haiti not want to give players boost or, or they don't want to give players a lot of good rewards at once? I don't understand the logic. And this is probably the first time I'm not seeing the cheek voucher on the free road. Again, there are cheek vouchers in the paid section, but you have to pay the money. Not everyone purchases the farm pass in the game. So it's definitely a huge bummer for the people who don't purchase a farm pass because there's no cheek voucher. And even one cheek voucher was a great opportunity, but now it's not there. And I hope in the next farm pass, there is a cheek voucher. It's just like that they're being too generous at one point and then they're like, okay, here you go with nothing. Now we're not going to give you the cheek vouchers or there's going to be no good rewards. Thank God that there's still expansion permit. I would have been devastated if there were no expansion permits. That would have been a complete disaster. Like, wow, I would not be happy with that. Um, but yeah, basically that was about this farm pass. That was a lot of talk. I guess some serious talk, but guys, don't get me too serious. Don't get me too literal. These were just my opinions and mostly they were based on the feedback that I saw people were giving in the community about this farm pass. And of course, I'm going to be purchasing it. I purchase it every time. I still think that overall it's okay. You're still getting XP expansion permits and other rewards, but in terms of decorations and check vouchers and a few other things, it's certainly not very good. And taking into the consideration that this is the first farm pass of this year, it's not a good start. This is not a happy new year. This is an unhappy new year for Haiti farm pass. So I wasn't happy for that. But yeah, let me know what you think of this farm pass. Are you happy with the decorations? Do you like getting the decorations for the third time? Uh, what do you think about the chick vouchers? And what's your opinion on the XP? Share your thoughts in the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Again, whatever I mentioned in this video, I have nothing against Haiti team. I have nothing against anyone. This video is just my opinion, and of course, it's always for the entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Haiti content coming. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.